Don't waste your money on Photoshop. Instead, use Python. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Python programming to create YouTube thumbnails for your YouTube channel. Okay, you can see on my desktop here, I have three images. I have a base image, which is this nice blue color. Then I have my robot logo and I have the Python logo. And what I'm going to do is use these three to create a nice thumbnail. I'm going to be able to merge them all together and add text and make it look really good. So let's go over to Python. In order to do this, I need to import two libraries. From PIL, I'm going to import image, image draw, and image font. And I'm going to import NumPy as NP. So real quick for reference so you know here, I'm going to print out the versions of these packages so that you know. So PIL is 9.4 and NumPy is 1.23.5. So in order to do this, I'm going to create two functions. The first is just going to allow us to add images to that base image by pasting them on and controlling where they go in their size. And then last, I'm going to create a function called make thumbnail, which is going to bring it all together and allow us to add some text and make it look really sharp. So first for that first function, we're going to call it add image and it's going to take in the base image, the image we want to paste on, the size, the location, and any rotation that we want. So the size is going to be a tuple of the width and height and the location is going to be x, y coordinates also as a tuple. First we'll crop the image by the size that we give it and then we'll rotate it using crop.rotate with our rotation parameter and we'll put expand equals true. Last, we need to paste it in. So we'll do base image dot paste, rotate comma loc comma rotate, which is just gonna take that rotate object, which is our rotated image and cropped image. And it's gonna paste it on to our base image. Okay, now we're ready for our make thumbnail function. This is gonna take in as parameters the text we want on our thumbnail and images that we want on our thumbnail. We're gonna have both of these be dictionaries. For the text, it's gonna be a dictionary of strings with the title or text that we wanna add, and the values are gonna be the font size. For the images, it's gonna be a dictionary of the image locations, and then the location in pixels of where we want it on our thumbnail. Okay, let's get our base image. We'll just open that up from the desktop file. And now let's paste in our images. So we're gonna paste in the robot and Python logo. So to do that, I'll create a for loop and we'll open each of those images. And then we'll call the add image function that we defined earlier. So it requires the base image, the image we're gonna paste on, the size, which I'll just do image.size because I wanna keep it the native size. For the location, that's part of the parameter as the dictionary. So we'll call that dictionary value using the key I. And then rotation is equal to zero. We'll just leave that as zero for this case. Next, it's time to put in any text that we want onto our thumbnail. And to do that, we need a draw object. So let's go ahead and create that. I'll say draw is equal to image draw dot draw with our base image. And then we'll do a for loop just like we did for the pasting of images, but we'll do it for the different texts. So for each of these, we'll do draw dot text. Now we need to give it the x, y coordinate of where we want the text to go. So for this example, I want all of my text in the upper left corner. But for each different key in the dictionary, I want the text to be on a new line. And so to do that, I'm going to use the y coordinate to move it down a little bit. So starting off, I'll have the text not quite at 0, 0. I want a little bit of a buffer, so I'll move it down 20 pixels and, and to the right 20 pixels. But then for the y coordinate, each time we iterate through another index, I want to move it down a little bit further so we have the text on different lines. So basically, I'm going to use the index and multiply it by the size of the font to move it down. And I'll multiply that by 2 so we have a nice little spacing there. It's not as complicated as it sounds. I'll just put 20 and then 20 plus text with text, which is the font size times by the index times by two. And then the text that we want, of course, is just the text key of the dictionary. For fill, I want my text to be white. So I'll put 250, 250, 250, which are the RGB values. And then for stroke fill, which is just an outline of the text, I want black. So I'm gonna put 000 for black. And I want that stroke width to be 25. And last, I'll choose a font here, and I want the font Courier because that's the font that I like to use on this channel. And then last, all we need to do is save the image, and I'll save it to the desktop. Okay, so if we did everything right, this should run and create a beautiful thumbnail for us. So let's go ahead and try it out. So for the text, I want this one to be 
Python with a size of 700 and Curso Completo with a size of 300, which just means full course. And then for the images, I got the robot image and I want that clear to the right. So I'll do the X coordinate at 2000. I'll just leave the Y coordinate as zero. And then we want the Python logo and I want this one to be a little bit to the right. So we'll do 300 for the X and I want it down so it doesn't bump into our text at about 650. All right, let's run this. Okay, that didn't take long to run at all. And now you can see on the desktop, we have thumbnail.jpg and it says Python Curso Completo with the Python logo and my robot on the side, and it looks fantastic. So as you can imagine, this has some amazing use cases. Let's say you have like a thumbnail design that you're constantly using. Well, you can use Python to automate the process of creating your thumbnails. So in other words, don't waste your time using Photoshop. Instead, automate your life using Python. If you want full access to this code, you can follow the links in the description. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below.